you knew them of lack of guidance. Maybe some people's parents is not in the position to really guide them and lead them in the right path so they live in their own life. Or maybe sometimes it's just society we're living in creates. There's no job for I and I. There's no job for certain people to get. So they have no choice but to row or steam. Some people. Anyway, that's the idea. I don't know. Of course, it's influenced by the media, it's influenced by the internet, it's influenced by all the things that are pushing in front of your face. Because when you constantly see something, you, you have a tendency of grab holding onto it and start memorizing it or acting out a role. You know? Mm. Yeah. You, you're not recording, are you? Oh, sorry, sir. I mean, it's a talk, the thing, you know. Nowadays, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a trend to follow. There's some guys, some guys want to be down. Some people want to be part of a team or part of something to be known or recognized in some kind of way. You know, mm. that's what the problem is. Of course, in every race, nationality, in every even in parliament, people join things for protection or some kind of umbrella, mm. you know? Yeah. Well, what they can do for one is stop promote certain things they promote on TV. For one. On these commercials they watch on TV, they, they, they're promoting the, you know, you can't promote the thing that people, kids will see things and grab onto things. Mm. And, and boy, yeah, what if they stop with street crime, they start to get involved with maybe more and more youth clubs and more mm. things for the youth where, they, where even the youngsters growing up, they could bring them to a hall and they could all rap in that hall on that mm. special day or certain day of the week. Or they could, there's something, you need something where youths like to do. So you're going to make it, you're going to make it in a nice way for them. So they could, um, yeah, you get the drift, you get the drift. Of course, there is a lack of opportunity. Yeah, Which But way? also, the youth, them, they got to try harder, because the youth is not really trying as hard as they can. Some people get turned down for one thing, and it affects them for years, or even in, in their life. Yeah. You know, some people don't have the, the courage or the, or the drive to keep going. You know, that's why they need, need guidance. You need guidance, man. The guidance I will give, you know, this, this, even, I don't know, really, me personally, with my, with my son personally, I'm going to guide him. Because mm. I'm constantly around him. I'm going to show him the right, and show him the, not show him the wrong, but let him understand what's wrong. Mm. And let him understand what's right. I can guide my son, but it's hard for me to guide our youth nowadays. Mm. Really. I need, you need to, I need a lot of support for that. Me alone as one man can't do it. I'm not gonna change one man's life. But we need help. We need help. More support. Yeah. Well, it goes both ways. They help and they do hinder. And <laughs> the man of crooked police on this terrace, and I tell you, you don't even know. Yeah, you just have to believe in them that they're, they're doing the right thing because they're police. But no, it's not working this way. It's just, how, it's, it's, I don't know. It's not working this way, man. Yeah. Not, yeah, explain that. <laughs> well. I mean, how do they help and how do they hinder? How do they make things worse? They make things worse by... I don't know, you know, to tell the truth. I can't think of this second to tell you right now, but... Just give me some examples. <laughs> I just said I can't think any second and you show me give another example, my Bridget. They want to know. <laughs> slow your roll, my youth. Slow your roll. <laughs> Listen. Come back to that question. Uh, I put a pin in that one, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a bad experience with the police? <laughs> Never. I stay far from them and they stay far from me. <laughs> How do you manage that then? By doing the right thing in life. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Studio working, security, you 
I don't know if it would stop them off or not. It can make them worse and it can make them better. Some people could really feel remorse for what they've done, and some people get cold every time. So it depends on the individual. No, it depends on the individual because some, somebody can be locked up, for instance, yeah. and really feel remorse for what they've done and feel bad for what they've done, and they want to come out and make a change. And some people would be in there and getting in gang war while they're in there. And obviously they're going to get more time, they're not going to be coming out. So when they do come out, they're going to be coming out ready again, like yeah. a hyper. Yeah. So, you know? It work both ways. Both ways. Leave a gang alone. Don't join a gang. Go to church. Praise God. <laughs> do something like that. Join a gang of the church. Join that gang. Or even positive speeches somewhere. Join that gang. Join something positive. Yeah. Negativity won't get you nowhere. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Because me personally, as a big man, even though I know say, certain things ain't right, I like the sound of certain gangs, gangster tunes or certain gun tunes. I like it, but but, but me liking it still is that they're still promoting. And that's what the youths are hearing. And mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I like how it's put together sometimes. But I'm not saying it's right, it's wrong sometimes. But the youth them nowadays, yeah. they love the sound of that gangster sh music and and it does influence them to yeah. um, probably, you know, right, but what, so commit crime maybe. Yeah. It, it, what you hear is what you're constantly hearing and when it, when it grows on you, it grows on you and you, you can act out that role, you can act out that, that scene. And if something's positive, it's also the, it's the same thing, it can grow on you and it can make you a positive individual. But it's all down to the individual himself, really, right. to decide if you're going to go left or right up or down and sometimes with the guidance from the elders that would lead them in the right path. Oh no really. Well I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah? yeah. Give me some examples. What, what kind of things have you seen? It. I mean I can give you an example of what I've seen. I've seen I have seen other people go through it. Not me personally. But yeah I've seen other people go through it. So I've seen it. Okay. I don't like to elaborate too much on people stuff, you know? Okay, so the police ain't never hold you up or nothing? Yeah, they've stopped them before and... <laughs> but they don't, they're, not, they're not jumping out? <laughs> no. No, they ask the question, boom, boom, I'm driving, the license and, you know, you know man, just play cool with them. I don't, I don't play the gangster with the police because me, I'm a gangster for them. Mm. It doesn't make sense. All I'm going to do is end up lock up. At the end of the day, they're still going to get the handcuff on me at some point and then I'm going to be locked up. So, you know what, when, it, when police approach me, I deal with it on a calm level. Mm. Just keep it as simple as possible and calm and not sarcastic and rude because that's what they want. That's what they're looking for, a reason. Yeah. I gave them no reason. Yeah, yeah of course. Of course the government can do more invest more money into the youth and if you invest money into the ghetto yeah. then we can make a change invest money into the ghetto show the youth there's a, there's a better way there's a better life out there yeah investments will help money will help yeah, yeah. what kind of areas do you think the money should be invested in well in the areas where a lot of crime is Okay. In the areas where you get more crime, see like certain areas, <clears throat> like I would say like South London for instance, Brixton is not as bad as it used to be. Okay. Brixton used to be a place that people were scared to walk through. Now anybody walks through Brixton now without without even watching their back. You got certain areas like Lucian is wild. Mm. These areas are wild. Peckham still is kind of lively, but. Yeah, you need to put money, invest money into the youth. You know, if you know they love sports, basketball, mm -hmm. invest into a gym where the kids can go play on a regular basis. Not like a leisure centre where they have to pay money and they don't have the money. We didn't need some freeness. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. So invest in the youth then. 
Yeah. So instead of trying to make money from the, mm. give them something instead of trying to get See something them. from them. You keep yeah. trying to get something from, from kids who ain't got nothing. So that can't really be working out, can it? True, true. Invest some money, man. Investment, investment. Mm. And people take time out. Take time out and try to understand the youth and see what they go and see the struggle and see what they're going through. Mm. Even though some cause it on, on themselves, they bring problems on themselves. But some is forced into. Mm. You know what I mean? So we need to make a change. How how are people forced into it? How would you say they're forced into it? Because they had no upbringing, right. they, they raised themselves up. Okay. They had to do things for themselves more than, yeah. 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 They had to do things for themselves, so there was no guidance. No one was leading them in the right path. They were leading themselves. So that can go either way. They could become a man, as a nice person, or they could be become an animal. 